Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Status Report highlight for the 19th of June 2018. Following the 0.63 experimental release last week, oh yeah, experimental released, we are back with our Status Report. Today, Eugene gives us an update on the state of development, while Victor and Adam from the animation team show us what they've been up to for the past couple of weeks. Our map designer Adam demonstrates changes to the weather system and we get some insight into the audio progress by our sound designer Philip. And of course, as always, closing with the community highlight. So let's kick things off with lead producer Eugen. The experimental release is behind us, but the work does not stop here. So I would like to look at the issues present. Troubling the community playing this version and also talking about the internal development that has happened and features you'll be seeing very soon on the stress test and experimental branch. We kept both the branches active to make sure we don't break experimental too often and have features coming into it with more polish. While 0.63 is heavy on new technology, we know it's quite light on content, but you will be able to enjoy a lot of new stuff in the upcoming weeks. The issues that take longest to iron out are related to the stability of client and server, the problems that would end up interrupting your play sessions for various reasons, from locked characters to server kicks or just unexpected crashes to the desktop. Things are getting better. But there is more to be done in this regard, and we continue to monitor the situation and apply fixes to make sure we eliminate this as soon as possible. We know it's not there yet, and it's our top priority. We should also talk about our plan to make the experimental servers available to server owners currently running their communities. Sadly, this had to be slightly postponed due to changes necessary for the GDPR and memory leaks, wreaking havoc on stability and performance. These seem to be fixed as of today, so very soon you will be able to switch over and enjoy the updated version with your fellow community members on your own terms. In terms of development, we are currently moving along quite nicely with only small delays in features planned out internally. The benefits of the new technology are already showing themselves in pace of implementation. We are also looking into possible solutions to issues that currently cause these delays and make sure we deliver. Let's go over the current state of development and features themselves. Things we can consider finished for experimental phase. Hidden stash, CPR, gestures, repairing, UI main menu, soft skills, environmental exposure, and a new animal, the goat. Last week we have moved continue to the review bug fixing of character unconsciousness, chambering loop, fireplace, jump, UI server browser, cooking, weapon item swap action animation, compass, gathering ambient loot, gathering actions, vehicles open closed doors, vehicles attach detach vehicle parts, and injured animations. This week is dedicated to the internal implementation of climbing, weapon dispersion, weapon zeroing, weapons double barrel, diseases, scopes, infusion hierarchy, new input system, action animations, collisions during melee. So you might be asking yourself when these things hit the stress test and experimental branches. We plan to switch over a bunch of these very soon and you can expect to have these available in batches over the coming weeks. However, we want to aim for at least unconscious state to be finished in different edge cases. As of now, there are still small issues with ladder, water, unconscious state interactions that are not ready for the stress test. But this week we should see them fixed, and as such, move to the stress test branch alongside many other new features and content. Now let's move on to lead animator Victor. Today I would like to share with you in this short update what the animation team has been working on for the past weeks and what is going on at the moment. Obviously, the player character is important to us, so we continue improving its behavior and what it can do. At the moment, we are revisiting some of the animations and improving them, or replacing them with better ones. This includes melee combat and its attacks. There have been some animation changes to better represent which item the player is attacking with, like a new sprint attack with the baseball bat. Also, a lot of work has been put into finger poses so that the character is holding various items the best way it can. Some of the recent animation additions include the new IZH-43 animation set and some gestures like nodding head, shrug and OK. One of the most significant improvements to player locomotion is the ability to jump over obstacles. The feature is still work in progress, as well as the animations, but the character is now able to overcome small objects that are in their way by jumping over them. We are now in the process of adding all the animation variations for different directions and items in hands. At the same time, our programmer is working on the climbing for players and soon we will start implementing animations for it. As we also started tidying up some animations and features, there is an ongoing work on player actions. This includes polishing of existing animations, some graph tweaks, but also some new animations to better visualize what the character is doing. 
Our technical animator, Adam, will share more details on what was happening over the past weeks regarding various animation improvements related to these actions. Let's bring on in technical animator Adam, who starts by saying, For the past couple of weeks I have been hard at work revamping, tweaking and creating animations for many various actions. User actions are the backbone of the game, and as such, they require thought out implementation. What items can they be done with? What stances are they realistic in? Should the character be able to move during the action? All of these play a huge role in their realization, concept and execution. Tweaked some action animations to be faster or slower and cutting out unnecessary parts, depending on which type of action. I've also created and implemented animations for placing heavy items, barrels, generators, etc. and smaller items, bear traps, mines, etc. And I've also revamped the horticulture action animations, such as cutting down trees with a two-handed axe or one-handed hatchet, cutting down bushes and getting bark from trees with knives or machetes. As a part of these actions, I also implemented some smaller quality of life representative action animations for viewing compass and viewing the map to properly convey what the player is currently doing. Ooh, proper animations for viewing a map. That's never a thing, was it? We're in full steam ahead mode with the actions and their corresponding animations. And every week we're working on new actions and polishing the animations for the ones we already have. A nice one, Adam. And now let's move on to the very talented map designer, Adam. In our status report from the 22nd of November 2016, we shared our plans to upgrade Simul Weather True Sky, a third-party library used to render volumetric clouds in DayZ. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, we had to ultimately cancel this plan and rather focus our attention on the current implementation that is present in DayZ since the beginning of early access. This has not only allowed us to make necessary performance adjustments, but also take a closer look at the visuals of clouds and what would be improved within the limits of the current implementation. Here is a short summary of what has been changed. Regarding performance improvements, we have reached a point where we have decided to remove the ability to disable volumetric clouds on the client side. This change will take an effect once revamp of graphical options is finalized. There have been major changes in the cloud configuration, which are mainly aimed to make the clouds more visible and distinct from the skybox background. We improved the interaction of fog in distance and height and volumetric clouds, so that clouds should blend better with the horizon when it's foggy. The silver lining effect of clouds has been boosted during the early to late sunrise and sunsets. The movement speed of clouds during windy conditions has been reduced and we've brought additional improvements to the skybox background textures, overcast dependent along with some minor tweaks to the global lighting config to support the changes in the skybox and volumetric clouds. In addition to the changes of clouds, we have also taken a look again at the visuals of rain. These new changes include Close-up raindrops are much more visible now. Re-added effect that tries to visualize light refraction on raindrops. Fogginess parameter has been tweaked so the rain blends better with the background. Close-up raindrops are more visible during the nighttime around light sources. Rain speed has been increased. Both clouds and rain changes should be available to test once the next major stress test branch update happens. We are looking forward to your feedback on these improvements as always. And next up we have sound designer Philip. The latest sound feature we started to work on are voice sounds for the character. So far we've implemented breathing when the character runs out of stamina, the sounds for holding breath while aiming in ironside mode, and hit reactions when the character takes damage. We plan to add more sounds to create a more immersive character representation. Some of the sounds will be connected to animations, like grunts while jumping or picking up heavy items, or sounds to emphasize melee combat. Others should be connected to the character states, like the feeling of hunger or representation of disease. So far, all sounds are placeholders and in some cases, only male sounds are played. Ooh, thank you very much there, Philip, for that little bit of audio insight. And don't forget, as always, to check out the community spotlight for all the community goodness that it delivers some really good content there again shared by Beatty. don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you enjoy the content i make support me on patreon if you wish visit our discord for a sexy time and i'll see you peeps next time